right, guys. Here she is, Lulu. It's gorgeous. Just gonna walk around. I'll talk about each little piece here in a sec. Just gonna go around the car. Don't look at my license plate, guys. <gasps> All right, so as far as exterior modifications, uh, I have the full splitter package from ZL1 add-ons. So I did the front splitter. Need to get some splitter rods, but eventually. So then I got the rock guards and the side splitters all the way down, rear rock guards with the rear splitters. Now these, I actually had them make me a sep separate pair because they're actually made for the SRT type rear bumper. And there was a hole like right here, you know, because the SRT one rolls out versus going in. So they, they were awesome and they, you know, because the first one they sent me actually had a hole there and I messaged them and asked them if they could send me one without that hole. And they, they had never done it before, I guess, for anybody. And they, they were really awesome. And they just made me another set and sent them to me. So, big shout out to ZL1 add-ons and their customer service. There was still this one, which I could have moved over just a tad. But I like it to line up because I'm super OCD about stuff. So, this is not bugging me too bad. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. Anyway, and then, uh, of course, the ZL1 wicker bill, stealth wicker bill with the stealth uh, hardware. Uh, when my car, when I bought it, it had a matte black uh, Hellcat style um, spoiler, but I really didn't want to drill into my factory one just in case I wanted to switch back. But, you know, come to think of it, I probably would have done it anyway, but I do like the gloss black. I tried to wrap mine and didn't do so well on that, but just bought a gloss, gloss black one and installed it and then put the wicker bill on that one. Uh, painted my tips, which didn't turn out super great. So I'm probably gonna just get some quads. Uh, let's see, I did debadge everything as far as everything except for the RT. And then I did put some tint on the uh, tail lights. Let's see, what else? Uh, only other stuff I did wrap my door handles myself and the roof black. Left my shark fin antenna um, white, which was because I didn't really want to wrap that because it was my first time wrapping. Uh, as far as other graphics, this, these were on the car when I bought it, the RT. The dealer asked me if that was the reason that I bought the car, and I was like, no. <laughs> but it did have red pinstripes up the side, which did give it a nice effect. I'm probably going to go with blue, because we don't do red here in Wildcat Country. Uh, <laughs> and then got a, uh, of course, the uh, tattered American flag down here at the bottom. The other stuff I've done is I got uh, LED clear side markers from... SP underscore Mopar on Instagram. So if you want to get a set of those, which they look super awesome at nighttime, uh, I've got a flyby video up if you wanted to check out what they look like at night. They are awesome. Well worth the money. And then I did this down here, which I just kind of piecemealed the black down here at the bottom. I'm not sure I'm a fan yet. I do like it filled in. I think I'm going to run that line straight across and then come back up. That way it's level instead of all black, which I just pieced that together anyway. So it was just kind of a test. And then definitely get the Dodge hashes. But let's see. Other than that, I mean, that's... Oh, duh. Got my Head Turners logo. The uh, reflective white with the carbon fiber back, which kind of looks silver. So I'm probably going to just go with a gloss black one with white outline non-reflective because the white doesn't look white which on a white car makes it look very odd and then last thing I guess would be the I put white uh, ashes on the, the wheels which was kind of cool 
interior is excessively dirty. I have not cleaned it, but I did a little bit as far as using some uh, seat whelp cord or whatever. And, you know, around the dash, got my pro clip. It's dirty, dirty, dirty. Of course, a little bubby seat in the back. And then I gloss blacked the uh, gas tank. But that's it. That's my Lulu. She's a beaut. I love her. Still want to get a different hood or do something with the hood. I'm not quite sure yet. But just for fun, let's do a start. Not a, this would be a mild start because it's not, uh, not exactly a cold start. I drove this morning a little while ago. Here we go. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, as I do more stuff, I'll keep making some videos. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy those Mopars.